Good morning! And today we're getting the van ready to head off to Scotland. So let's just jump in and see what I haven't touched for the last two weeks that we've been home. Right. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. Not that bad at all. There you can see. I uh, just need a quick. Hmm. No. Nope. I think all I've got to do is empty out the cupboards because there's still Spain clothes in here from when we were in Spain and it's summer weather and I really don't think we're going to need that in Scotland. Oh, hello. No, it's going to be a bit cold in Scotland, I think. Uh, yeah, so you need your uh, fleecy jammers and your thermals. My long johns. Yeah. Long johns, woolly hat, scarf, gloves. Yeah. And bits and bobs. Wet weather gear, I think, as well. Yeah, most of it's in there, I think. Yes. Uh, I think Maybe. we do have a little bit of um, things to move around and change. Get the power banks topped up. Yeah. Fill up the water. Have a bit of a clean. It's not that bad, actually. Put the boiler back in service because that tripped because it was cold. Yes, it did, didn't That's it? That's built its guts on the floor. It says, I'm cold, I'm off. Yeah. Check the water, check the boiler. Check the electrics, get the power banks charged up. Yep. Put the green stuff in the loo, organic green stuff in the loo. Yep. Check the cupboards. I think there's still food and everything in here from, not fresh food, but like tins and things like that from uh, when we were in Spain. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, what we're going to do. So the bedding has been changed already. All these little jobs you need to do before you go away. We've worked out that we won't be back until late May and from this year till late may we'll have only spent four weeks living in a house now we, we obviously we we're quite transparent about that we have kept a house our kids rent it off us and we've kept a room there so uh we can we have a base we can go to if we need to uh, but so far until the middle of may we will have spent a grand total of four weeks in a house uh, which is about enough for me to be perfectly honest because two weeks seems to be my limit and then I'm like ready to go again But we need a month to come back to cut the grass fix the shower fix the holes in the ceiling uh, Oh, yeah, we've got to replace the lino in the downstairs loo because that's gone in it. Yeah, I've got a tile floor sort the conservatory because youngest son thought mm, I'll wash my shoes in your washing machine and once they're dry I'll tumble dry them. So that was tumble dry to the skips new washing machine <laughs> Um, so there's always something to do when we get back. So, you yeah, know, we're yeah. never, never short the jobs. Hey, it's like the life of a landlord, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I know we asked you the other week about the table. As you can see, it's still here. We took it out. We sort of sat in here for a little bit and lived with it and then realized we missed it. So, uh, yeah, the table's back in. Any alternative that we could find, it was going to be a struggle to store. So, there we go, table's back in. It's in its coffee table setting at the moment. Right, let's fill the boiler up. Yep. We've got to get Starlink back in here, haven't we? Uh, yeah, Starlink. I think that's in the dining room. We took it out when we got back from Spain. Check the charge on the power banks. Yeah, we've got to work out uh, the power banks we're taking as well. Of course, we've got Big Bertha. She lives in the back cupboard. She's a beast. We'll show you her. I think, I'm think i not sure if we showed you her in the uh, Coventry videos, but uh, that's our two and a half thousand watt all powers bank. There will be a review coming on that soon, but uh, she's a cracker. There goes the boiler. Yep. Oh. That's just full of air, isn't it, where it's, where it's dumped itself? Yeah. So I'll do that one. I'll do the one in the shower as well. Yep. Get the air through the system. Yeah, and I'll get the cleaning cloths out and get everything clean. Push the clothes out. The dogs are in the house waiting for us to uh, come back in. I think they're aware that they're going somewhere. And uh, have a quick tidy up. And that's pretty much it, to be honest. We usually, the van's pretty much ready to go. And in fact, a lot of the time these days, it's like instead of going away in the van, it's being in the house and then just getting back in the van and continuing the journey so uh, this feels more home to be honest than a bricks and mortar house does these days <laughs> uh, good afternoon I think we should say we, I know. we've been going for all oh, best part of an hour now because we had a real lazy get up 
I know, we just drank coffee and talked about what we had to do instead of yeah. doing what we had to do. We can talk a good job anyway. We <laughs> definitely can, we definitely can. This is classic us when we are going away. Um, we literally throw everything into the van the day before. Even if we're going three months to Spain, there's no planning. Yeah, but on the upside, we are in the UK, so if we forget anything, yeah, we can just pick it up. The only things that we don't want to forget that we can't really easily get are the dog food because they're on a special diet aren't they when they're mm -hmm. grain free so mm -hmm. we usually take that charging cables you can always get them but we must have at least 20 charging cables now for the phones yeah so we make sure we always take some from the house we're going up to scotland and we're going for six weeks people have been asking us where we're going well the only place we definitely know we're going to is inverness and that's not because we're starting the NC500, it's because I used to live there. Yep, and the other place we want to go to is, we see it all the time and it looks fab, the Kelpies. Oh, I know, we've been waiting to go to the Kelpies for ages, haven't we? But other than that, it's going to be sort of exploring places perhaps you wouldn't go to. And it's going to be on a budget. There will be some campsites. Some campsites. But not too many, will yeah, there? Yeah, some, some wild camping or shall we say, not campsites to avoid any arguments. Let's call them park-ups. Park-ups, yeah. Um But what we are specially looking at is the camper airs. And we're hoping to see as many of those on the road as we can because they're growing and I think, you know how passionate we are about the French airs and the German Stellplatz and the Italian Sosters. It'd be lovely if we had a similar thing available in the UK. So Campro are working really, really hard to build their catalogue of stopovers you can have. And we plan to use as many of those as we can and report back to you. Now, um, I'm going to say quickly, I know I'm waffling a bit and going on. You are. Um, but if you look in the description, I'm going to put a link today to a Facebook group for Campra and go and join just we need to support them as much as we can to get this air thing up and running in the UK as much as possible it'll bring in visitors from France and Germany and you know so many of them have said they wanted to come but are shocked at the prices let's get this air thing up and running but this is what this trip is going to really concentrate on budgeting Scotland and not doing the NC 500 but we might be touching on it yeah, we might touch it. And on the back of that, if you guys have got any recommendations as to where we should visit to, please let us know because we've been to Scotland a number of times and we do enjoy it. Mm. But, you know, we're not stuck for places where to go, but we also like recommendations because we've had some real crackers in the past. So if you can let us know your thoughts yeah. of places to go, good places, nice places. So we've got some power banks that we're going to take with us fully charged as well. We've got the big solar panels. So we are hoping <laughs> for sun. We are That's going to joke. Scotland. Well, That's a joke. Know, we are leaving on the 8th of April. So yes. today is Sunday the 7th. So again, we're coming at you fresh. Hot and fresh. Hot and fresh. I hope in those six weeks we might see a bit of sunshine to get some of the solar in the power banks because we've got a big 400 watt panel to give a good test out from all powers. I know, we haven't been able to use that in anger yet, have we? No, the actual panel, uh, the actual charging unit is amazing. Mm. It's a case of we're doing this and we plan to travel the way we travel in mainland Europe. Cheaply, yep. visiting local sites, spending money in local businesses. Yep, and comfortably, because quite often we get comments about how laid back I look in the chair. I think there's a couple of things there. One, it's the angle. You know, we're shooting from across and I've always been in that position as a driver. Yeah. I drove under blue lights for 30 years in the fire service until I changed positions, promoted and bits and bobs. Uh, but that's the way I drive. So it does look like I'm asleep, but I'm not. I wouldn't let him be asleep. You know I wouldn't. Yeah. So, you know I'd nag him if I thought he was driving dangerously. Yeah. He doesn't drive dangerously. So I thought I would mention that because it is quite often in the comments. How can you drive like that? What a moron. What an idiot. You know, we do get comments about my driving position, but I think you can see from here it's not all bad. Um, His driving uh, position is not the reason he's an idiot. <laughs> 
but I do drive this safe and I've driven heavy goods safely. I don't know if you can see a difference, but we are actually trialing a new camera. We'll be taking our new camera with us. It's a GoPro 12. We get a lot of complaints and comments about how uh, washed out I look, which is a bit mean considering I'm quite pale. Yeah, so. well, you get told you're pale. I get told I look like an alien. Yeah. Uh, because um, my skin tone is slightly different. If I've been in the sun, I do. Yeah, we're, we're, we're very different. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is the unwashed So we're trialling a new camera um just to see uh what the differences are and of course the other camera is very very weighty and i have problems with my shoulders and even you struggle to hold it sometimes so it's like a housebreak isn't it it's very heavy so we're trialing this one uh my only concerns are the audio which the audio and the other one's pretty good but uh let's see how this works out yeah so if you've got any comments make them pleasant <laughs> about how it how it looks now let us know yeah I think pretty much the van's done isn't it we always have it sort of half ready to go anyway I've just cleaned out the cupboards um, and refilled them all and to be perfectly honest uh, there's a lot of <laughs> I was digging things out and going bought that in Germany yeah I mean <laughs> bought it? that in Greece <laughs> yeah I mean, how long has it been parked up a couple of weeks two weeks it's been parked up two weeks mm. so I, I, I finally emptied the toilet because that was full up you're joking <laughs> it's one of the first jobs I do when I get back but I see. bet you he's not going to tell you what he did last time he emptied the toilet. <laughs> but if you ever hilarious. see us, ask him about his toilet mishap. It wasn't funny. <laughs> it wasn't funny. Uh, sorry, this is a very um, sitting and talking at you video. We don't normally do these. We normally like to chuck a little bit of nice scenery in for you, which we shall have next week. Um, but at the moment in Bracklow and Bridge End lacking on that slightly lacking on that we haven't really done much so rather than yeah exactly. make something up and, and throw it at you we just thought we just give you a getting ready to go video let you know that we are going to be doing two videos a week uh, you'll get three if we have the content if we don't it'll just be the two videos um as we said before there will be reviews we have to do reviews to continue to fund this travel but as always we will put the reviews separately so you do not have to watch them if you don't want to there's no need to tell us that you think we are disgusting sellouts yeah no need to announce your departure it's 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 fine it's fine but... it's what we do yeah, we... if you don't like it don't watch them uh if you don't like it at all move on there's other channels who don't but i bet you they will yeah <laughs> and, and exactly that we've got a Birthday, a birthday to do we have got a birthday for today oh for sharon so happy birthday sharon yes happy birthday sharon and that is from nick your partner nick and nick used to be a fireman did he mm. in fact he used to work for the fire circus <laughs> yeah i did too <laughs> believe me yeah it was called the South Wales Fire and Rescue Circus. So, yeah, I get where you're coming from. Anyway, happy birthday, Sharon. I hope Nick has spoiled you. And um, I hope us saying happy birthday to you is not the pinnacle of today. <laughs> anyway, have a great day. Yeah, enjoy yourselves, guys. And we've got a lovely bias of coffee. Thank you very much to A.D. Val and, of course, Dolly the Bulldog. Dolly the Bulldog. What a fantastic name. Yeah. Anyway, thanks, guys. We really, really appreciate it. It's lovely to be able to just go out sometimes and treat ourselves to a coffee. So really appreciate it. Thank you very it, much. It is. And thanks for all your questions and your feedback on the pet passport video. You did a good job oh, there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, so if it's been of use, great. We've had a bit of feedback saying that it's, it is it is difficult in France, but we did mention that. Yes, we did. But at the moment, Belgium and Spain, you will find there are several places in Spain that you will quite easily get a pet passport but what you might find is when you go to Spain uh, and they want to give you your rabies vaccination the dog not you um, it'll only be for a year so we really do recommend Belgium if you can because she will give you a three-year rabies vaccine yeah 
so there's that and I will also be doing I did uh, an infographic with basically three steps to getting your pet passport I posted it on Facebook I am actually going to do another one for worming your dogs so basically I will do a whole lot of infographics just making things very simple they'll all be found on Facebook and showing you point by point step by step so you can see it visually see it visually take a screenshot and it's yours to keep yeah so hope that's going to be helpful for you anyway we got to go to Asda um. Yeah, I know. Just to grab a couple of bits and bobs to take with us. So, yep, yeah, thank you very much. We will catch you next week from Scotland. Yes. Bye. Bye. <laughs>